transorbital lobotomy on 10 patients within an hour. A lobotomy was a form of psychosurgery, a neurosurgical treatment for mental disorder that involves severing connections in the brain's prefrontal cortex. Most of the connections to and from the prefrontal cortex, the anterior part of the frontal lobes of the brain, are severed. It was used for treating mental disorders and occasionally other conditions as a mainstream procedure in some Western countries for more than two decades, despite general recognition of frequent and serious side effects. Some patients improved in some ways after the operation, but complications and impairments, sometimes severe, were frequent. The procedure was controversial from its initial use, in part due to the balance between benefits and risks. It is mostly rejected as a humane form of treatment now, to preserve patients' rights. The first prefrontal leukotomy in the United States was performed on September 14, 1936 by the neurologist Walter Freeman and his colleague, the neurosurgeon, James W. Watts. Wandering the never-ending hallways of the hospital, Freeman felt little sympathy for the patients at St. Elizabeth. While in a sturdy young person, four or even six convulsions may be administered without danger. They inspire a weird mixture of fear, disgust and shame. The slouching figures, the vacant stare or averted eyes, the shabby clothing and footwear, the general untidiness, it all aroused rejection rather than sympathy or interest. Lift the upper eyelid, inserts the locutome into the condensable sac, and aims it parallel to 